uh, Banners Broker World Tour uh, in Manchester, United Kingdom, has taken place last weekend. Uh, very exciting news, a lot of news as well, uh, as you will see from today's webinar. Um, but it is very important for all of us to understand uh, these news clearly, to understand where the company is going so that we know uh, the business that we are in. So my name is Gediminas and uh, we went uh, to the uh, World Tour in Manchester on the 22nd, 23rd and the 24th uh, of February. It was a sold out event, thousands of people uh, attending. It was amazing um, to see so many people there. This is the place where uh, the uh, World Tour took place in the Reebok Stadium in Bolton. Uh, so a massive place and, and uh, for a massive conference really. Uh, and these are just a few of the signs, you know, for the world tour in the United Kingdom. So we're really proud uh, to have that in UK, and it was uh, a fantastic event. Now, Friday began with the information session, and the first uh, person uh, that spoke to us was Lorenzo Guarini, and he gave a very warm welcome uh, to all of the guests, uh, and um, uh, he gave a little bit of, of a heads up of what's going to be happening. And then we had David Hooker, uh, who is the business and development um, uh, leader and the compliance officer for Banners Broker. Uh, so he uh, gave a short speech. Uh, uh, things that he uh, was talking about, uh, some of the things. Uh, um, Stella Point just leased the office uh, in Manchester for the next 10 years. So um, very nice thing to uh, to know. About 20 support staff will be hired to work here in UK uh, to support the UK-based distributors and to answer uh, any problems or issues uh, um, that we might have in here. Uh, over 360,000 affiliates have already joined Banners Brokers. So since a few months ago, uh, since the World Tour um, in um, Ireland, we already have another 60,000 affiliates that came on board uh, to work with Banners Broker, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Banners Broker is creative, innovative, and daring, and this is what uh, uh, you know. People like Dragons Den. If you, if anybody watches this program, know that these are type of businesses that um, uh, they look for, uh, and uh, Banners Broker is exactly that. Uh, Banners Broker is. Uh, uh, a creative and innovative and daring uh, uh, business, and that's why it's such a, a fast-growing company. Uh, all pioneers were criticized, uh, and if you look at any company that was starting out, uh, they usually were criticized and uh, they were ridiculed because people don't believe that uh, anything will come out of that business and or, or venture. And we have, an, as an example, the Wright brothers who um, were first ones to fly, you know, to, to, to start the airplane. And nobody believed that it was possible, but they've done it. You know, so Banners Broker, in a way, is a pioneer as well because what they're doing is something very unique, creating this opportunity for thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. And uh, a lot of people are still criticizing them and ridiculing them, but uh, the results that we've seen within the last two and a half years, you know, you cannot deny them. And we also had uh, the Disney example. And uh, when Walt Disney wanted to get started, he went to see... Uh, some banks who would invest some money into his business and everyone said no to him. I, I, I think it's about a thousand uh, different financial institutions that actually said no to uh, Walt Disney until somebody uh, um, said yes and now uh, you know this uh, you, you all know about Walt Disney you know and the story uh, behind that. Okay, next after that we had uh, Raj Dixit. Raj Dixit is now the Stellar Point uh, CEO and he's a senior advisor to Banners Broker CEO. So many of you know uh, about Raj and he's a really nice uh, guy. You know, he had a, a short speech on Friday. Uh, again, welcoming everybody and we had uh, the one and only Mr. Christopher Smith, uh, the CEO, owner and founder of Banners Broker uh, come up and also uh, say a few words. Something that was mentioned on Friday briefly and something that I'll talk more later on was the new withdrawal and transfer rule of leading 100 expenses in your e-wallet. Basically what it means, um, if you're withdrawing money, you have to leave uh, in your e-wallet a month's worth of your traffic pack cost and your um, monthly subscription. So if you're, for example, a premium member with uh, four traffic packs, 
uh, premium membership costs you $100, four traffic pass costs you uh, $200, so you have to leave at least $300 when you're withdrawing money, or if you want to transfer uh, packages or panels to somebody, you have to have that month's um, uh, subscription amount in your e-wallet before you can transfer anything. Uh, Saturday, uh, we continued with the uh, Banners Broker World Tour, and we had the main conference, which was opened by a, a person called Martin Wilde, and Martin uh, is the person uh, who organized the whole of UK uh, World Tour, and he uh, is the guy responsible for it. Then we had David Hooker on a stage again, and um, David works uh, for Stellar Point as a training consultant, and he works uh, for Banners Broker as a compliance officer. And uh, basically, uh, David was talking about uh, the way that people look into this business, and uh, what uh, David said that was quite interesting is that, you know, business opportunities when you are looking at something. And many people, even though they have joined the business, they're still calling it uh, a, a business opportunity. And it is no longer an opportunity, it is a business. When you join it, it becomes a business. So it's not an opportunity, it is a business that you have already who's, which is making money to you. So the difference is like dating and, and being married, yeah? So the relationship is quite different. So when you're just dating, you know, you're still not quite sure. And this is where we have the business opportunity. Once you join the business, once you uh, get married, the relationship changes and you know where you stand. So it's sort of, you know, um, you have to treat it as a business. Uh, and uh, something that David likes to say, he says, people don't know what they don't know and what they do know generally hurts them, meaning that a lot of people don't understand what they do in Banners Broker because, because they don't know, yeah, right? They haven't uh, spent time to actually learn this business. And um, because they don't know, they make up things. Let me just switch. Okay, so when people don't understand something, um, they start making things up. And this uh, is what's been happening with Banners Broker, because so many people don't understand what they are doing, um, they start making things up, and uh, they start inventing things that are not actually happening, and that's not how the business is actually happening. So um, what the emphasis of the whole weekend was actually understanding uh, our business and, and uh, making sure that it's, it's there for many, many years to come. So it is your responsibility, you know, to know the business that you're doing. So if this will change your life, if Banners Broker is to change your life uh, in terms of money, in terms of well-being, then invest time in learning it. You know, and we uh, ask, you know, of, of opinions of people who don't understand this business. So many of you got started, you know, maybe you didn't you know, talk to that many people, were, but when you started talking to some people, some people were quite negative. Now, um, if you're still on the call today, that means obviously you, you know, you just got got through that. But a lot of people, uh, they go, you know, they start this business, they go and ask the first person of their opinion, and they ask the opinion of a person who has no idea about Banners Broker, has no idea about this business. They give them a critical, you know, response, and they say, oh, you know, probably this business is no good either, you know, and they just quit the business or something like that. So. What you need to do is obviously uh, make sure that if you're asking for opinions, ask for people who understand uh, a business like that. Now, if you will become successful, uh, you know, you will leave them behind, and that's what people don't want. They see you, you know, it's like a lottery. When, when somebody, you know, in your neighborhood wins, you know, a million, a couple of million, everybody says, oh, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. But then they say, oh, no, but that person changed, you know, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with them because people are jealous. Exactly the same way here. When you start telling people how fantastic this business is, how much money you're going to be making from this, etc., people will be jealous and they'll say, ah, yeah, but it's not gonna, you're not going to make it, you know, this is not going to last, etc., 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 because they are just jealous and they know they should be doing the same thing. And yes, will there be challenges? Absolutely. Will there be things that don't work? Uh, absolutely. Will, will we have some problems? Definitely. You know, but uh, we have this example of car broke, uh, breaking down. And I mean, how many of you had your car uh, broken down? And uh, did you go like, oh, you know, so that, you know, I'm not going to buy any more cars. You know, cars just don't work. They keep breaking down. And even though the car keeps breaking down, you still keep fixing it and you keep buying another car. Except because it's just part of the deal. If you have a car, you know that it will break down at one point or the other. So exactly the same way here. We have a business. It's an you know online business. And yes, you know there will be glitches and stuff like that. But uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. 
you know, people are complaining that they need to do too much. Now, with a lot of changes coming up, yes, you will have to work more. You know, you will have to do more. But, you know, let's just compare it to other businesses and how much work you need to put in other businesses. And I think you shouldn't be complaining. You know, so it's your business. Take it seriously. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. This is something that is so important to understand. A lot of people feel uncomfortable, etc. How will I tell anyone? How will I, you know, prove, you know, how will I convince people that this is a good business? Forget about it. You don't need to convince anyone. You know, just give this opportunity to people who uh, might be interested and let them decide. You know, they will decide it anyway. You know, you can't decide for others and you can't convince people in this business. So uh, if you can justify to yourself joining this business and starting this venture, that's all you need and then offer it uh, to people around you and if they're interested, they'll join. If they're not interested, it's fine. Don't worry about it. 2013 is the year of compliance in Banner's Broker. So the focus is on longevity of the business, which means making sure that it's here, uh, you know, not for, you know, a few months, not for a few weeks, but for years to come. You know, and uh, there's too many people making good money uh, to risk uh, the longevity of this company, to risk, you know, uh, uh, and... Um, to getting in trouble with this business. So what we need to do is make sure that we're doing it correctly and that we're explaining it correctly and uh, that, you know, we have this business for years to come. And, you know, one of the things uh, that David said is better to light the candle than complain about the darkness. You know, so a lot of uh, us, you know, a lot of people that I met so far, you know, they complain, 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 complain. This is bad, this is no good, this is bad, etc. Why don't we... Uh, you know, concentrate on, on the business and concentrate on the good parts and, and the fact that we are earning quite a good income from this business and, and do the business as we should do instead of just sitting there and complaining every day, which makes sense completely. You know, so as David said, if you take the money, don't complain. You know, if you don't want to earn the money, then leave. You know, that's fine. You can leave the company and then complain all you want. But if you are earning money with Banner's Broker, if Banner's Broker is changing your financial situation, then stop complaining, you know, and start promoting this business instead. Uh, then we had uh, Grant Deal, uh, who is uh, the Director of Corporate Training, and uh, many of you who listen to the webinars on Monday have heard Grant speaking, and he has already uh, done some fantastic trainings on traffic, on panels, on allowances, etc., and he'll do many more uh, within the months to come, and, and Grant uh, gave us a, a, a training too. Uh, he gave us a training um, in general, you know, he talked about internet history, so uh, how internet started out, you know, in 1969, U.S. Defense Department uh, formed a, a thing called ARPANET, uh, which is the Advanced Research Products Agency Network, uh, which was basically uh, designed for secure communication in case of war. And in 1969, the first message was sent on, uh, on ARPANET when a UCLA student programmer, Charlie Klein, uh, sent a message uh, to a server and, and the message was supposed to be login but uh, after he entered LO the system crashed so uh, the first message ever sent on the internet was low. In 1988 we had the first chat on internet and by 2012 we now uh, have 644 million websites in the world. Uh, we have 312 billion emails sent per day which means, uh, which works out about 2.8 per second. Uh, we've got 9 trillion text messages sent in 2012. So, uh, you know, there's no question here about the growth of internet and about uh, the direction that technology is moving and, and the business is moving. And we are definitely are in the right industry, in the right, uh, on the right track. And Alexa.com is a website that gives traffic ranking to websites all around the world, so every website uh, can be ranked uh, according to amount of traffic that it receives, amount of uh, people that visits the web website. And Banners Broker, uh, as of February uh, 22nd on 2013, was in 421st place on the Alexa, which is not too bad if you think that the company's only been around for two and a 